Good morning, Richland High School. I'm Ty Ann Bell. And I'm Lana Bates. Today is Monday, February 12, 2018. Tennis not just time, we were hungry. Damn! Student dismissal times are as follows. Junior high hockey, 545. Fine arts. Any fine arts student going to Washington, D.C. in the spring is asked to sign up for Remind. The code is located in the fine art department classrooms. Math Counts. Congratulations to the 7th and 8th grade Math Counts team for their first place finish this weekend at the UPJ Chapter Competition. Co congratulations also to IU Streetar with an 8th plate eighth place individual finish and Liam Delaney with a third place individual finish. The Richmond Math Counts team will be competing in Harrisburg this March. Blacklight Dance. Student Council will be hosting a blacklight dance for students in grades 9 through 12 on Thursday, February 15th in the Ramnasium. Tickets purchased in advance will be $3 and tickets will be $5 at the door. Anti-bullying whiteout. Attention all students. Our next anti-bullying whiteout will be held on Friday, February 16th. Wear your anti-bullying t-shirts to show that you are making a stand against bullying. And remember to always stay humble and kind. Middle school reading team. The next middle school reading team will be Wednesday, February 14th from 3 to 4 in B212. District forensic forensics <laughs> results. Congratulations to Abby Bracken and Shay Roth, District 5 duo interpret champions, and Morgan Bailey who placed second in ex temporary oh, okay they have <laughs> qualified to compete at the state forensics meet on march 16th and 17th at bloomsburg university google doodle what inspires you it is your turn to create a google doodle expressing what inspires you five finalists will be flown to google headquarters and one of the five will receive a thirty thousand dollar schol college scholarship and a fifty thousand dollar google for education technology package for their school it is like the lottery. You can't win if you don't play. Entry forms and more details are located in the art room. Deadline is March 2nd, 2018. Get inspired. St. Francis University, ASL Sign Day. St. Francis University hosts the sixth annual ASL Sign Day on April 8th. Sign Day is a fun introduction to ASL, American Sign Language, for students in grades 1 through 12th. The event will be held from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. in the John F. Kennedy Student Center on campus. Check-in begins at 9.15 a.m. Participants will be separated in age groups and will take part in several activities throughout the day. Learn the American Manual Alphabet, learn to count with ASL, learn about the origin history of the American Manual, Alphabet and American Sign Language, <laughs> learn the Pledge of Allegiance, sign jam, jam and ASL to Can't Stop the Feeling by Justin Timberlake. Cost. The cost of the event is $11 per participant and includes lots of fun and a t-shirt. Bring a brown bag lunch labeled with participants name the registration fee is non-refundable please visit www.francis.edu.org events slash 2018 slash 04 apr asl sign day slash registration closes on march 3rd unomania unomania every friday room a two three four during six period. Winners from each week will have their names placed in a drawing for amazing prizes. Names will be pulled once every quarter. If you would like to join the fun, stop by room A two three four Friday morning to get your Uno Pass card. Passes are limited. Math tutoring. Math tutoring will be available after school from two fifty five p.m. to three fifty five p.m. Monday through Thursday as follows: Mrs. Vela's room B one one B one thirteen. Monday and Thursday, Mrs. Petrosky's room B one eleven. Tuesday and Wednesday. Job opportunity. Attention high school students. The Home Depot is currently hiring customer service and sales associates, cash, cashiers and freight, receiving and merchandising associates. Any students interested in this job op opportunity can text 52270 for more information or visit careers.homedepot.com. 2018 Connemaw Career Day. Attention juniors, <laughs> Connemaw Memorial Medical Center is hosting its Spring Career Day on Tuesday, March 13, 2018. Students who are interested in attending this event should stop by the guidance office for a Career Day application packet. The application deadline is Friday, February 23rd. Space is very limited and seats are filled on a first come, first serve basis, so there is no time to waste. TSA Workday. There will be a TSA Workday from 6 o'clock to 8.30. Have, Have a, a fantastic day. day. Good morning, look around your TV. High 33, low 16, but maybe cloudy. Go around. What is an e cig? An e cig is an electronic cigarette, and I believe it has tobacco in it, or it cannot have tobacco in it. Uh, an electric cigarette? It's vaporized wa water vapor. An e cig is like a vaporized type of cigarette. Do you know what's in it? No. 
Uh, nicotine, other chemicals that are harmful. No, I have no idea. Like nicotine, I don't know. What would you say is the worst part of vaping? Um, I would say just the addiction. Uh, I definitely think they're addictive. I think they have addictive qualities in them. Well, the ones with the high levels of nicotine. Hi, this is Carson Children. If you don't know me already, you probably should. I'm here to talk to you about e-cigarettes, or vaping, as it's called. A lot of people think vaping is a cool way to hang out and have fun and look cool. I'm just going to tell you that's not true at all. E-cigarettes are dangerous. One of the main ingredients in e-cigarettes is oftentimes nicotine. Nicotine is the most addictive drug in the world. And other chemicals in e-cigarettes are often arsenic, which is rat poison, rubidium, which is in fireworks, and eth benzene, which I don't even know what that is. So that cannot be good for you. E-cigarettes aren't killing anyone yet. Just like cigarettes don't kill anyone yet. I don't want you guys to die. Don't be a tool. Don't vape. Charlotte's being really mean to me. I don't even want to come to school anymore. Hi, Eliana. You've been referred here today to talk to me. I hope that um, I can help you with whatever's going on, okay? Tonight is the girls' basketball last home game against Charlestown. It's going to be a good game, and the game is dedicated in memory to Leah Keffer's mom who passed away over the summer. Everyone come out and support at 7.15 and wear purple.